Book 12 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an inchworm type game. Let me give you a little example. So when you're finished, your game should look something like this. So that's what I'm going to teach you guys how to make today. Now first off, to start off, you're going to need yourself three different sprites. Each one of these sprites is 32 by 32. The first one you're going to need is an inchworm. And make sure to check this thing that says precise collision checking. That will be very useful in the end. The next sprite you're going to need is a wall. And also check this, it might automatically check it for you by then, but I'm not sure. And then the next sprite you need is an ending point. In the end I just did a little circle. Now you could have it like for the wall, you just type in here just so you know how to make these. File, you click new or control N, and then when it says select the size, click OK because it'll usually be 32 by 32, unless you've made another game with bigger sizes. Next off, you're going to need yourself some music. Now, there's a link to a free music download. I'll leave that in the description for this game that you will make, and it gives you a launch of um, music that you can use in your games. But there's only one thing that you need to know, um, and that is that you cannot actually have it as a normal sound or with the pan in the middle. Turn your volume a little bit down, put the pan to either the preferably the left side and change it to background music or else it will crash once you get your sound. Next up you're going to use your objects. Now for your object you're going to name one inchworm spawn, one inchworm, and one inchworm trail. Now let me show you how all these sprites come together. So if you have your inchworm spawn you just name it inchworm spawn, put it as inchworm, you have to do no coding in this part at all. So we can just X out of that by pressing the OK button. Next up, your inchworm trail. So what you're going to add in here is add event, other, and over here you'll have this thing that says animation end. Click that, and then go down to main 2, or main 1, sorry and drag yourself one of these little green recycling bins that say destroy the instance and if you click that do of self next there's just the inchworm left now this is the hardest part so what you're going to do is click create add a create event which is in create you just click create and it'll pop up and it'll say create instance of object inchworm spawn now, what it means is, you're going to drag over, hold on one second, you're going to drag over from the main one tab again, this little light bulb, just a singular light bulb, and change it to inchworm underscore spawn, or whatever your inchworm spawn was. Click this little relative box down in the corner, and then press OK. Next, go over to your step event, which you need to add, so click add event, step, and it'll say begin step, end step, and step. Just click step. And then it'll say create instance of object inchworm trail. Now your inchworm trail, again, is this thing. So you're going to click create instance of inchworm trail and put it as a relative. Then you're going to do add event keyboard left. And when you do left on your keyboard, 
click on start moving with the dot which is over here in the move category just drag this thing drag this little one with the red arrows over and click the dot in the middle and set the speed to zero and then set the horizontal speed to negative seven when you go up which is exactly how you get left just choose up this time the same thing with the dot except set the vertical speed to negative seven this one was a horizontal speed to negative seven this one is a vertical speed to negative seven next you're going to do the same add event thing to get yourself to write and start moving in a direction again with the dot in the middle speed zero and then set the horizontal speed to seven remember we're not checking relative that will mess you up now you're going to do the exact same thing to get down. It'll have the dot and zero, except this time when you go on the vertical speed, it'll be seven. So up and down are vertical speeds. Up is negative seven, down is seven. Left and right are horizontal speeds, which are both over here. There's horizontal, there's vertical. And left is sent to negative seven, and right is set to regular seven. After that, you should be good with your inchworm. And when you're placing in your object in the room, here I'll just give you an example for this one, you're going to put in your inchworm object, not the trail, not the spawn, the inchworm. Next, you're going to create yourself an object called object wall, or obj wall, or whatever you want to do. And do add event collision with inchworm will create the instance of object inchworm and inchworm underscore spawn dot x and inchworm underscore spawn dot y type in this okay and when it says inchworm here it's the inchworm that you put for your regular inchworm or snake or whatever you wrote there that's what you'll put you'll put whatever you wrote there underscore spawn x underscore one dot y and why it says that is because underneath the inchworm is actually another object which is the inchworm spawn so you leave your inchworm spawn underneath your inchworm so whenever you die and your inchworm spawn I forgot to mention can't be visible so if you have it on visible right now change it to so it can't be visible and then also for your wall category you're going to click destroy the instance of object other which will destroy the inchworm and then make them respawn at the spawn part now the moving walls which we're moving back and forth or up and down or diagonal in fact you could do uh, all you have to do is click the add a create event again and then start moving in a direction left and right at the speed that you want. I did six because that's a pretty difficult speed. Now the thing about the walls though, which I kind of forgot to mention, is um, in this very last room here, these are the walls. They have to be like right next to the actual walls. These are the moving walls though. This little thing here is a moving wall. They move back and forth, but if any part of your inchworm touches that wall, it'll make you restart. So you have to be very careful about that also on your wall moving put collision with inchworm which is the same way you did the collision before put collision with inchworm will create the object of inchworm at the inchworm spawn again and will destroy the instance of other just exactly like the wall did and if you do collision with inchworm trail it'll destroy instance of the inchworm you go down to object and select inchworm it will create the instance of inchworm at inchworm spawn and it will destroy the instance of the other now you can get rid of the first one or no um, where is it 
yeah, you can get rid of this entire, just, you can right click on this and click delete event if you don't want it so that when you touch the trail it'll make you restart, or if you want it to just cut your snake a little smaller, then you can just um, get rid of the first two objects, the destroy of the inchworm and the, and the creating of a spawn. And of course when it collides with the wall it's going to bounce against solid objects. Make sure it's not precise, otherwise it'll freak out. And then on your wall, make it solid. Check that little solid button. And also if you don't know how to do sprites, if you haven't seen any of my other tutorials on this, you just click on this little list here. And you can choose any one of these sprites that you like. They're the sprites that you created. Now the end, all you have to do is begin with the spray, name it, end, all that stuff, and then collision with inchworm, which I showed you how to do, will make you go to the next room. And you can have a transition like a blend. There's all these different transitions. It's crazy. I like blend, but you can do whatever you like. Then you're going to create yourself a room by pressing this little post it looking thing in the top right hand corner. And in the very first room you can write like worm or something, that's what I did. And then put ends all around your worm so whenever you press an arrow key it would make you just go to the next level. And then create another room and name, you can name all these rooms different so that you know what they are. I just leave them as they are but you can do whatever you want to those. Then create yourself your obstacle using your walls, your moving walls, put your end at the end obviously. And remember, in order to create an inchworm, you have to put your inchworm spawn and then your inchworm right next to each other. Also, in the top hand corner, there's this little object here that's very vague. What you have to do for that is go down and create a new object, except this time don't even give it a sprite, so it has no sprite. And then add event create and play sound of the music that you chose. You can do this at the title screen. I didn't because I don't know. I just did it like that. <laughs> and then you can just keep creating your things like that. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. And also, whenever you beat the very last room, it'll say object error because there's no room after it or something like that. So, yeah, just do that. And also, if the link doesn't work, let me show you how to get there real quickly. So let's pop up um, Google. I have to do this because I forgot to bring a mouse on my trip here. So, like, I forgot to bring my little mouse. I have to use the touchpad U. And then you go to Game Maker, Yo Yo Games. It'll just pop up there, hopefully. And then in Yo Yo Games, you're going to go to the Marketplace on the top corner, right there. Just click on Marketplace. Here we go. And it'll have all these staff favorites and stuff. And you click on musical melodies. And you can get any one of these. As I said before, you can buy all these. Some of them are free. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, then make sure to hit like and subscribe. And as always, enjoy making your games. See you guys.